क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो हियर वी आर विद चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग अ फैमिली ऑफ माइक्रोवेव क्रॉस फील्ड ट्यूब्स वी आर डीलिंग विद एंड द वेरी पॉपुलर सिलेंड्रिकल मैग्नेट्रॉन वर्किंग एज ऑसिलेटर ऑल्सो द लीनियर मैग्नेट्रॉन वर्किंग एज ऑसिलेटर वी हैव सीन एंड वी हैव सॉल्व फ्यू ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन टू देयर कंसेप्ट ऑल्सो नाउ द नेम्स ऑफ दीज मैग्नेट्रॉन्स वेयर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द शेप्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोड्स एसोसिएटेड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर डिवाइसेज So let us see what are the details of coaxial magnetron. So here we start with our topic. The topic is coaxial magnetron. So as we have seen before, for a magnetron, there it is again essential modification from the conventional vacuum tubes and from the vacuum tubes, the two electrodes are common. so we have made the modification so the electrodes are cathode and anode that are very important so cathode is negatively charged and anode is positively charged the cathode with the help of heating element will be generating the free electrons and that are first of all focused towards the anode but because of the presence of the magnetic field into the cross orientation we want the device to make oscillations so as the electron will be following a cycloidal path will just graze the anode and will come back to the position of the cathode here so in cylindrical magnetron the shape of both anode and cathode it was cylindrical the anode body was having certain resonant cavities in the linear magnetron the shapes were linear hence the name now here for the case of coaxial magnetron we again are having the use of resonant cavities making the anode and cathode to have the same axis hence the name coaxial magnetron let us see the diagram here so here in the diagram we see first of all the resonators that has been shaded here and the cross section can be seen on to the left hand side so here the two cavities that we can see here so this is the resonant circuit that is making the use and it is a part of the anode body so there it will be a centrally placed cathode here i can draw it like this and it will be negatively charged and now the anode body will be consisting of the outer cylinder and inside to this outer cylinder there it will be the n number of resonant structures here so this is the unstrapped resonators that we show here and in between the unstrapped resonators these are the coupling slots provided so the coupling slots at the body of this particular anode will have a proper coupling of the energy from one cavity to the another cavity giving good performance with respect to the coaxial magnetron here so this is the external cavity this is also a part of anode i mentioned this is also a part of anode or the unstrapped resonators and because of this structure of anode having the unstrapped resonators and the cylindrical external cavity the production of electric field will be there inside the cavity and it is having the circulating orientation so this is one diagram that shows you the simplified cross view with the help of another diagram we shall make the operation of the coaxial magnetron very easy so here we start with the another diagram this diagram can be treated as the schematic diagram of the coaxial magnetron so here we start with this particular nomenclature in this diagram so this is the cathode terminal without which the device operation cannot be completed so a negatively charged cathode terminal that we have shown at the central location with such a solid cylindrical rod here now after the cathode terminal you must look at the vane resonator which is a part of anode that we have shown into the previous diagram also so you see these slots so these slots belong to the anode structure so the resonant cavities are associated and that are separated with a mean distance also after the vane resonator only one vane resonator we have pointed out 
so there are n number of wind resonators so with the help of coupling slot that you can see in between so there is association of the energy from one cavity to the another resonant cavity here now for these coupling slots there upon we have the cavity mode attenuator to control the operation here also we have the inner circuit mode attenuator beside this particular coupling slots of the resonant circuit and then the outer body of the anode that has been shown here and finally the purpose of this outer body is to make stabilizations into the cavity resonators here next to that we can see here inside the outer body of the anode and the resonator circuit there are circulating electric field lines that are generated and the mode of propagation of that particular electric field is given as te011 so when we talk about te mode te stands for the transverse electric mode you see as the magnetron device is having the two very important electrodes that are cathode and anode and to have the various types of the magnetrons we have made essential modifications into the shapes of the anode especially the anode is having the resonant cavities here so along with the cathode and the anode we have the presence of magnetic field that is perpendicular to the electric field in between these two electrodes so this is the magnetic flux density that is shown perpendicular so here we have denoted bz component z to be the direction of flow of magnetic flux lines so this can be treated as the next point in this particular diagram and here the diagram is having the z direction for the magnetic field there is no component of electric field in the direction of this z component there is no magnetic portion hence it is transverse electric board and 0 1 1 can be the designation here generally for the electric field here we have te so m n and p will be the three integers that we use whenever the cavity resonators are studied here so the values are 0 1 1 here so this can be regarded as the next point here and to have the operation of this particular magnetron so that we adjust the velocities of the electron beam with the phase velocity it will be starting to oscillate here the very popular condition of the pi mode of oscillation can be treated where the phase shift between the adjacent cavities adjacent resonant cavities can be selected to be of pi radians here so pi mode of oscillations can be generated here so in the adjacent locations inside this particular magnetron there it will be the in phase lines of the electron path that we can see in the operation here and finally the outer circuitry will be having a stabilization of those particular lines so the outer body that is making the stabilization so finally the rf output can be taken from the coaxial magnetron working as oscillator here now for the analysis purpose as the shape is quite cylindrical with respect to the cathode and the anode structure it has certain slots for the purpose of resonance of course there so the convenient coordinate system here in this case it will be cylindrical coordinate system and therefore the directions we can show so right from the axis which is common to the cathode as well as the anode here it will be radially outward direction so the direction can be denoted by rho here whereas the magnetic flux density that has been shown downward so it will be perpendicular to the rho direction and in between there we can show the angle here so the angle as we start from the radius of the cylinder the direction we can take like this onto the horizontal plane and that will be for the measurement of the angle phi so rho phi z the cylindrical coordinates can be helpful for analysis of the operation of this device by the next lecture we shall be addressing another type of magnetron in the cross field tube family for microwave generation oscillation so it will be voltage tunable magnetron i hope you are getting the details of microwave engineering very well 
फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक दिस यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू ई क्रीडा चैनल थैंक यू